Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Daily Devo. So we are digging in still in Psalm 1-5 and truly um, I see this such as um, an opportunity for salvation, a picture of salvation in knowing that we are saved from so much um, and, and that's really what I see here and that, you know, God gave Jesus, Jesus himself was payment for our sin, for our failure. And what incredible love that is. And, you know, Jesus came in the gospels, in the account of the gospels. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, he preached the good news, which is gospel, of the kingdom of God, of the kingdom of God coming, that the kingdom of God was close at hand. And he was the key, is the key to the kingdom of God. He is our access point back to um, garden living, so to speak, taking us back to God as our source, God as our... Um, the one who gives us our purpose, who gives us our identity. Jesus is the key to the kingdom. And obtaining the key is as easy as receiving him, welcoming him in. First Corinthians, no, Second Corinthians 5.21 says, For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God, through Christ. That's reconciliation. So that we could be made right. If we go back to those d definitions, to reconcile is to restore friendly relations between. So Jesus Christ, by giving himself, restored friendly relations between you and God. Isn't that wonderful? So in Christ, we find forgiveness of sin and reconciliation with God. Because of Jesus' death and resurrection, we who have submitted to him as Lord and Savior enjoy those friendly relations. He is not angry with us any longer. Our debt has been paid. Our debt has been paid. Hebrews 9, 12. Let's read that one. It says, He went once for all, into the Holy of Holies, not by virtue of the blood of goats and calves by which to make reconciliation between God and man, but his own blood, having found and secured a complete redemption, an everlasting release. Oh, praise God. Having found a complete redemption, an everlasting release. And of course, it was that Jesus was fully God and fully man. And that he left the throne, you know, left heaven behind to come and live as a man. 2 Corinthians 5.19 says, It was God personally present in Christ, reconciling and restoring the world to favor with himself not counting up and holding against men their trespasses, but canceling them and committing to us the message of reconciliation of the restoration to favor. Now, I think that this is such a beautiful tie-in to where we were with Women of the Word last Tuesday night, which I, pr I pray, I hope that you have enjoyed those live videos, those live stream events. Mom and I have enjoyed doing them. But Isaiah 59 is just a beautiful passage. And in, um, in 16, verse 16, so Isaiah 59, 16, it says, And he saw, look, this is, and God saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor, no one to intervene on behalf of truth and right. And therefore his own arm brought victory and his own righteousness sustained him. That's Jesus, that the Lord himself 
became the intercessor for you and for me. Again, back to 2 Corinthians 5, 19. It was God personally present in Christ, reconciling and restoring the world to favor with himself. That is a beautiful picture of God's love for you. Oh, we'll end here. I'll pick up again tomorrow. See you then. Bye, y'all.